all my life. But I never flew in um, in uh, any club or nothing before in Mexico. Uh, I started flying over here in 2009. Yeah, in 2009, uh, I used to fly in uh, South Jersey. Uh, we flew there for to 2012, and then I moved back to Mexico, and I flew over there for three years. Wow. Uh, and then I came back uh, in 2017, and I start flying again uh, in uh, 2018 over here. 2019 it was a really good year for me. A friend of mine, his name is Enrique. He he was losing his house, and I have no pigeons. He bring his pigeons over here because he was about to lose the house and. Uh, he don't know what to do with the pigeons. Okay. So he brought like 150. Yeah, I pick uh, like 20 pairs, and uh, they start breeding. I start breeding with them. There was nothing wrong with those pigeons, but uh, I always had this feeling that I need something more uh, better. Right. You better quality. Always looking for better quality. Why? I don't know, but it's, it's, it's on me because since, since I start, when I started in 2008, I bought pictures from uh, Mary, Mary, uh, what's her name? Ba Bagger? Bagger? Uh, maybe 20 pictures from her. And uh, they did it okay for me, but it wasn't. You knew that, though. Need. Yeah, yeah, you needed uh, something else. Yeah, yeah, sometimes those pictures, I breed them. I was just starting, though. I never, like I said, I never flew pigeons on no club or I had nobody to tell me what to do with the pigeons. But I did it okay. I won uh, four races out of the eight on my club. Nah, not right, combined right. or nothing. Yeah. On my club. And three three of them races I went with uh, with the same hand. Only one pigeon won me three races. Wow that she was she was a good family. Yeah. Do you know what, what breed she was or uh, like I said strain? I bought it from uh, Mary and she she didn't tell me I yeah. like I said from a lot of those pigeons, I breathe them and I release them for five miles and I didn't see them again. And, but except for the, those, uh, that family right there. That's it, and then like I said, I moved back to Mexico, come back again. In 2018, I started flying again over here. In 2009, I came back and I flew really good for them. And then I started buying pigeons like crazy. Too so much. How, did, how did you approach that? Did, did you get online? Did you get it from you know, local okay. reputable breeder, how did, you know. How, yes, how did you I get? did my research. I get some information from uh, Mr. Baldwin, Reconnection, uh, Thomas Chillins. Wow, uh, um, big big name guys. Yeah, I, I, I am missing somebody right here by that. And then I know Ramiro. Ramiro is from Aztec Bluff. Yeah, okay. So I know him for a long, long time. And we have contact by yes never never um, visit one another so I decided to give him a call okay and that's how it starts I went up to his place and I saw the beautiful pictures that he has and that was it from then on that's he is my um, the go-to yeah yeah hundred percent after all these races that he's winning you know that he has oh yeah he's a, winning a really good yeah. pitches and, and, and uh, he's cool and he's love and uh Probably right now, uh, eighty percent, maybe eighty percent of my pigeons over here is from uh, his love. Do you have a um, one more specific strain or different different families? Because I, I know you in the last five years you you won five combine races. Were they different families, same oh, family? Like, like this year, this past year, I won two uh, combines. My son is flying from here, but they're my pigeons. Okay belongs to me. He flew this year from uh, from that group right there. And what's your son's uh, love? Menis, Menis love. Ah, okay. He won. I didn't know. First place in, a, in the combine, and um, the father of that one comes from uh, my friend Ramiro, but the parents of that one came from uh, uh, Nanis. Nanis love. Nanis love. Yes, both. He has a daughter of um, Iron Claw. Yeah, yeah. And he has a son of um, Constant. And he made it together. He paired pa them together right there. And uh, I bought a son of, of uh, that pair. And I put that cock with uh, with the hand that I bought from uh, Greek Connection. And 
there's the uh, parents of the combine winner and the combine winner of 300 miles also that, yeah that was uh no 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 oh the, 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 the parents of those two combine winners from uh, last year is the same uh mother and father wow same parents that, yeah that's that's something you know it's yeah. not just one but two combines yes. that, that's that's the right same there year, yeah. it's the first time i put it i put it together that that couple so is, the, is there like a, um, a strain that you like better you know, I like winning pigeons. There you go. Okay. I don't. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't go for <laughs> too much of the strain. If uh, if any pigeon from the street win me races, that, that's like what's that important, one. right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, but obviously, uh, right now, there's a lot of pigeons out there that they're, they're making a lot of uh, noise. Noise. Yeah. Which is a uh, Porsche 911, best kettles, kettles by themselves. Um, uh, Golden Prince. All yeah, those I've heard of all of them, yeah. Jerry Rossier. Yeah. Hardy Kruger. I got a couple of uh, Hardy Krugers straight from uh, his loft. And I got one hand of um, uh, Jelly Rossier from, direct from him. I bought him people. Nice. And that we made uh, money in Mexico. You, you sent the OLRs? No. You only no. took one race over there. The one uh, the one place. That's it. But um, last year. And a uh, year before, I sent it to two places over there. And uh, they did it really, really, really good over there for me. Okay. I won money in both, both races. Um, and that's out of uh, which which uh, birds? Oh, uh, if you remember. I bought this pigeon from uh, from my friend uh, Nikolai. Okay. He's a Cuban guy. He lives in uh, North Jersey. Um, I bought that pigeon. He bought it from uh, Big Andes. And um, and I went over over to his place and I said, you know what? I like this pigeon. You want to sell it to me? He says. No, not yet. Let me get a couple more babies off of him, and then, then you can come and get it. And that's the how, how, how did you? Uh, why did you like the bird? What was it about it that you? Uh... I just love the way it feels. Yeah. And the way it looks, and I wasn't wrong, because I bring him over here and I start breeding, and uh, and bring me really, really, really good babies and really nice babies. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't include them. I leave them for stock for myself. Okay. And one of them, uh, then one of those babies, bring me. Uh, this cock that I sent it to Mexico, and he won 30 place on on uh, on the combine over there, over 35,000 pitches. 35,000 pitches. Wow! But he was 13 place out of 30, still out of many 35,000 pitches wow. on the combine, and also um, he won. He was three times second place on his lot. Three times because there's a one lot race right there. And he, he, the three times he came together, it was equal first. But for some reason or another, every every time, the other pitching hit the, the antenna first, and then he was second always three yeah. times. Still, it's still a three good, times, uh... and and then and the uh, um, futurity race, which is a derby race over there, he was his first pitching. The same one, same same exactly pitching, and um, and then uh, out of the duck act that I'm talking about. The, the, the one I get from uh, my friend Nikolai, he brought me a hen that I sent it to Mexico to another race. She was third place and the final and the money where the money is. And I want uh, the third place with, with her. And then in uh, Texas, as for cash, I want money again in, with that one, with the same family. I was a full sister of the one over there in Mexico. And then it's, that, then it's when I- You saw something there. I, yeah. I said, you know what? This is something special over here. And uh, I can say it right now that he's my my main breeder right uh, the, the bird, the, that's the bird right there, the, um, that I call it the, the Tarzan. Tarzan? He's the, the, the main cock over here. He's the base over here. Let me show you to you. Came from, uh, like I said, my, my, my friend bought it from uh, Big Andes and uh, He's from Belgium. So you got you got a Carson, lot of Dolly, New Patricia, and uh, he brought me two winners, money winners, and the one of races um, last past year. Very nice. And right now is with the Hardy Kruger right now. He's the grandfather of the winner of uh, 30 place out of 35,000 pitches. Oh, that's the, the, he's the, grandfather. the grandfather. Yeah. Nice. And I'll show you the father right now. It's, it's almost 
It's almost like him. Yeah, he gets. Good way. I'm bringing him with um, all my best hands right now. He already went through uh, three hands already. And um, I'm bringing him right now with the Hobby Kruger. Yeah, the. The Artie Kruger uh, blood uh, seems to be doing good in the uh, OLRs. For everybody. Yeah. For everybody. For my friend Aztec is, um, is, is his big boom, you know. Uh, all the winners has a little bit of Artie Kruger from uh, Aztec. I want to show you the uh, the father of the two combine winners from last year. Yeah, show me. From Aztecs. He's, um, he's um, Ironclad. Grandson and uh, uh, grandson of uh, Constant. He's uh, the father <coughs> of the two um, common winners. Nice. And uh, I'll show you the um, the mother of them. Oh, he's the mother right there. He's the mother of the two uh, common winners. Wow. She's a um, reconnection. I put this pitching on uh, eye pitching. I saw him in there and, uh, and uh, I bought it from from my pitching right here. And this is Greek connection. 100% Greek connection out of his block. Nice. Tell me about the, uh, these, these birds that uh, have been winning for you in the, in the uh, combine races. Do you think, is it the quality? Is it the training? Because I mean, you've been winning most than anybody else in the Central Jersey Combine. Thank you. And you know that's it can be easy. No, it's a quality. I mean, I always says the the handler is 60, 65 percent of whatever the pitching is going to do in the in the race day, because you're the one that's taking to train them, feed them, give them fat, give them uh, vitamins, give them all they need. But they gotta have something over here. How far how far do you normally? Uh... How, you know, what's the furthest you take your birds to? to 50 miles? 100 miles out? No, 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 no. 50 miles, the moss. The okay. Moss. He, uh, don't, he don't train him too far. He don't train him too far. But he does good because he's got good, good, good bloodline. But I don't train a lot because of my work. When I have to, when everybody's training, I'm, I'm really busy on my work. I work at the farm yeah. and that's my really busy time of the year and, and that time. Tony Cuevas taught him uh, in Satanás. Satanás? Yeah, because he has three sixes. Ah. Three sixes, that's the reason why he called him that way. Um, yeah, he's a um, son of uh, number 50. Number 50 is uh, uh, Hardy Kruger. And the mother is Hardy Kruger with um, um, Nanis birth. The, uh, the grandmother of this one is Royal Cup winner. She won fifty thousand dollars. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is the Satan as he win me like uh, fifty nine hundred dollars. Congratulations. That's a good bird. Yeah. That's pretty. Nice swing. When you first started with with those original birds. In comparison to the birds now, right? Because now you have a, a better quality birds. I was like this. Now I'm like this. And and you you see it right away that it's right because away. of the quality. Listen, there's a lot of people that doing videos on, on YouTube, or some of them, and I watch sometimes. And let me tell you, the more original comments that I see so far is from you, because I I have a, another guy that I watch from uh, he's from North Carolina. I'm not gonna say the name to, to don't disturb nothing. But sometimes he mis uh, inform the new people. You know what I mean? To me, if I had the chance to go back again, I start with better pitches instead of with the uh, not too good pitches. It makes sense. I go for on top, not from here because it helps a lot. Remember, you gotta pay for feed. You gotta pay for vitamins, medicine, supplements, yeah. uh, supplements uh, to take them to train, road training. Take your time. And to spend all these things on dummy pitches, it doesn't make no sense to me. Now, 
why you went to, on, on, on pitches? Because you have that feeling, like you want to do something with the pitches. Not because you want to, you're thinking that you want to get rich with the pitches, right? Exactly. Okay. You got something, you got some kind of feeling for the pitches. It, it's a, you know, it's a sport you love. Either you love or, or you don't, you know? It's, Correct. But when you're doing it, you want to win. <laughs> Most definitely. I don't like to lose. I bought a bunch of pitches from uh, Manny a couple of years ago, and I can see the difference already. Yeah. You know, he's got really good birds. And, you know, he, he pays the money for it, you know? But yeah, if you want the quality, you gotta, you know, right, you can't get spends, quality and, and. He spends a lot of money for birds, but he gets something back. Yeah, he sees the results. Yes. I mean, it's proven, it's proven results. Best we have, you know. In 2021, I decided to send pitches to one love races. And that's the reason why I um, went and looked for better pitches because my main purpose is over here is sending birds to one love races. I think it's gonna be the future. Not soon. I hope not soon. But a lot of people is retiring from pigeons because of age or health problems. So I think it's gonna be the future, the one love race. Now I sent it to in 2021, I sent it to Husher. Yeah, uh, Cuevas. Cuevas Classic, yeah. Yeah. And I sent to uh, um, Royal Cup and Apoca. To those uh, four races I sent it. And uh, semi-final I won the race in uh Husher. I won the first place equal first. I Congratulations, very nice. Yeah, thank you. And um, and Tony Cuevas, I won equal first in the final two. Uh, Apple Cup, I won money on that one also too. And the only race that, that I didn't win money that year, it was in a Royal Cup. Still doing that good in three, that, that's yeah. And pretty then the good. 2022, I sent back, I sent Burst to back to, um, to Hoosier. I won again the, uh, the semi-final race over there, equal first. Nice. But the same, same family? Same family. And what, what family mother, was that? Same father, Excuse me? What family is that? That's a um, Wolverine and Baldwin Tilson. Okay, Baldwin Tilson. Yeah. yeah. It's a daughter from uh, 1148 of uh, his family. And uh, at the both years, same father and mother. And I've separated last year that, that, that couple and no, not good. Yeah, uh, it's a clear, it's a it's a mated yes. success. You gotta have to put it back together this year. So see what happens uh, again. And I'm planning to send birds to um, back oh, in the same place over there. Those are those four uh, uh, OLRs or the same ones or same do you plan? Ones. Same ones and then some of the other pigeons that I have, uh, the new pigeons that I have right now. I'm trying to, I want to try them in the one low races. They're like I went back to uh, Ramiro's and Aztec. Aztec. When he won uh, the uh, Hoosier in 2022, I bought a full brother of uh, the winner. I bought a full brother of the father of the winner. So you wanted to build a family around that, of course. Yeah. So first year that I bred the uh, full brother of uh, the Hoosier winner, I sent him one to um, to Mexico and it win me money. Yeah, it win me money already. So he pays It's proven. I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's gotta be in the blood, right? Yes. Yes, yes, and uh, uh, I went to his place and I bought a, a full son of uh, a Red Eagle. Red Eagle Red Eagle right now is one of, of uh, his best breeders, uh, hens breeders. That hen already breeds so many winners, so many winners. That's Kiro. Okay. As a, a direct daughter of uh, Angelina. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. and. Uh, I went to him in uh, last year, and the 250 miles it was when the smash, the smash, the smash race. Yeah, she was. She's a second place uh, combine winner. My uncle was first, and I was second. And it's off of the kettle yeah. line. Nice. Yeah, and uh, I went last year again, and I get two more hands of uh, the, the hand. She, she, he don't want to sell it no more, but since we have a really good relationship, um, friendship, and um, and he decided to sell it to me. But he's not selling nothing no more from uh, that hen. The others. Yeah. That's what he told me. He only have uh, three pigeons that he got a bread for somebody that he already got the Committed. order from before. And um, and yeah, I'll I'll go to his place and I try to get the closest of his winner winning uh, family. Always try that. Direct sons, direct brothers. That's that's what I do. I go for the top. You gotta the, go the for the for the ones that are has, winning. Yeah. I get a direct um, daughter of uh, Kiro. He has a daughter of uh, Best Kiro. 
and has a brother of Vesquero, and he put it together. And I get a hand right now. I got him over here, breathing for me with the um, grandson of uh, Black Power. Okay. And yeah. grandson of uh, Porsche 911. Uh, and but I didn't get that one from my Ramiro. I get that one from my friend um, uh, Alanis from um, Chicago. I think he is from. Uh, I get that he has a direct um, the daughter of uh, Porsche 911, and he has a direct son of uh, Black Power. Nice. And uh, I get a uh, son from uh, from him. And I got a daughter, I got another hand that comes from uh, Ramiro from Aztec. It's the same same blood. Ramiro has a, a direct daughter of Black Power. And he has plenty or many of direct children of uh, Porsche 911. And he made it that together, that couple together. And I get a hand too. Yeah, they're, they're both uh, top, the same, top same, birds. Yeah, same blood that I have. And put it on, I want to put it together that couple to have more more same blood. Fishing over here is uh, Wolverine also with um, Porsche 911 daughter. He's a grandson, Wolverine is a grandson of uh, Porsche 911. The mother of this pigeon already produced two Aztec uh, ace pigeons and uh, uh, race winners. Counting one with the uh, Royal Cup, he won first place in Royal Cup, winning like forty, fifty thousand dollars for that. Wow. Yeah, and he already produced a uh, Eco First in uh, Texas. That's for cash for my friend in Texas. Wow. One of the uh, the sons, that's, one grand grandsons. That's a super breeder. Yeah, he's another one, son of the same porch um, 911 porch. Uh, from Ramiro, from Aztec, ah. and uh, Golden Prince. He's a grandson of uh, Golden Prince and a grandson of Porsche 911. This cock, I sent one of his babies to Mexico. I think he was uh, 112 ace pigeon out of 54,000. Wow, those numbers are crazy. I didn't know yeah, uh, yeah. there's so many are, pretty are big over there. 50 some thousand pitches. Wow. So when you see him like 114 plays, 112 plays, uh, ace pitching, but that, when you hear the numbers, it's, that's when uh, you're really competing with a, a big number of pitches. Of course, that, yeah. That's not a bad, it's not bad. Yeah, it's all. not 112 out of uh, 500, no, no. you know. Jesus, thousands, 50,000, wow. Over 50,000 pitches last year, no, year before. Pairing them, how do you pair, you know, what's your selection in terms of you pairing a Porsche 911 with a Black Power, you know? Not right now, right now it's all cross. Yeah. Most of them, they're cross. Uh, after, after I finish breathing, yes, I want to put the uh, Porsche 911s together, um, Black Powers together, um, Jelly Rosiers together, um, just to have so in and bread, uh, bread or line bread, uh, line bread uh, for myself. That, that's smart. Yeah. So like at the uh, Red Eagle kids, I got two daughters and, and uh, one one son. I'm gonna put them the, the two daughters with the half uh, with the son of a uh, Red Eagle to have more kiddos and, and uh, now the two hands, they're 100 percent kiddos because one of the hands is uh, from uh, the, uh, the Red Eagle, and the father is direct son of Kiro. Wow. Yeah. So and the other hand is daughter from a red eagle but the father is from uh is from kittle also so the only one is cross is the uh the, the, the male the, the cock but that cock the brothers and himself the brother one of the brothers bring him a uh, fit place on a pataya from 600 uh km wow. fit place but that red kittle somebody else has a daughter or a son and it's the fourth fourth place on the on the Pattaya too. Yeah, they they got something. They yeah, got yeah. something special. Got some kids, I got right? I got some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's that's the reason why I went over there over to his place and get more. Of like course. <laughs> yeah, expensive. But good pigeons can get it for for nothing. Yeah, I mean they they uh they're expensive for a reason, right? I mean it. Uh, yeah. And if you want to get good blood, you're gonna have to pay. The best kid right here. Best Kiro, she's a granddaughter of Best Kiro. She's a granddaughter of uh, Shakira. 
she's a granddaughter to the father to um, Besker because the mother is made is a direct daughter of Besquero and the father is full brother to Besquero. Okay. Yeah, Ramiro has uh, two full brothers of Besquero. Nice. Yeah. So. You gotta grab, you gotta grab this one. Yeah, this is best kiddo. This is the only, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lying. The other hand is best kiddo, but has a little bit of best kiddo. And um, the, has um, kiddo also. But this one is uh, kiddo from both sides. I just, this is the last one that I get from uh, uh, Aztec. The last one that I went to his house and, and got him, yes. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the kiddo. Oh, yeah, one so of the kiddo can from my friend Aztec. Oh, yeah. Now, the mother is red. That's why they call it Red Eagle. And, and the father is. But that can give you blue splash, dark splash. Red, silver, all kind. I mean, uh, gold, uh, gold road was a uh, red Actually, check. Uh, I think it was a red check. A red check, yeah. It comes. They got uh, um, gold road and the pedigree like four or five times this one. It's a hand. Yeah, it's got that look. Yeah. And they look, they look uh, spectacular, right? And then. Hero pigeons, they're fast pigeons. But my friend Romero uh, has wind from uh, 350, 400 miles. Yeah. So. It's not just short distance, it's all this. That's distance. when you gotta stop and think, what happened? Why? Why are they doing this? Why are they flying? Are they, are they supposed to be a fast pigeon? But they can fly the distance also. Exactly. And what so do, what do you ever uh, made it to? I made it to um, to a son of uh, Jolly Rose here. I, that I'll, I'll show you in a minute the, the, the hen. And the father is uh, the uh, full brother to the um, father of the Kusher winner from uh, Ramiro. Wow. So, nice. Pretty soon it's going to go with the half brother. I'm going to, obviously, I want to keep the blood together. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's she's 100% kiddo. I can show you the bedding yeah. ring and uh, and uh, you can see the. Uh, yeah, she's a good looking hen. Yeah. I have um, three babies so far already, so pretty soon she's going to go with the brother, for the half a brother. And that's. To, to keep to that line. Yeah. Uh, I usually do the same thing, I start crosses. And I end up with uh, with the lines and see what happens. You can see the back, it has a really good back. So tell me about your, your young bird system. Do you you have them on lights? Do you cut flights, pull flights? What's what's your system? Uh, I pull the nine and ten. I cut it first, like the tips. you already explained that in one of, one of your videos. Cut it, and then uh, a couple of weeks, I pull nine and ten. and. Uh, I live in the light for um, 24, 24 hours straight in the light. But they can, they come into the uh, aviary and uh, stay there all day almost. And uh, so they're okay with the light. They don't care if there is light inside or, or not. They come to the uh, to the aviary and uh, stay there for almost all day. Yeah, they move light. Yeah, so. In, ter in terms of, uh, so I, I already know that you don't take uh, the young birds out too far. Um, in training, but now as we get closer to the to the races, do you do anything special um, feed wise? How, how do you get them ready for the races? You know, to, anything in particular? No, not really. Uh, like I mean, normal. Do you do any, like any sort of motivation for them no. as young birds? I mean, that's no. more like old birds, right? Yeah, and I didn't do nothing to the old birds either. 
I got my system, and that's it. Yeah, well, you're, 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 uh, whatever system it is, it's working because uh, you're winning combine races. You got to get them just right. Yeah. And for that, you, you need to, to see how much they eat. In other words, if I go in, in, the, in the loft and I grab one of my pigeons and I feel them like they're kind of heavy, and I grab another one and I feel them the same way, I train them more. If another time I go over there and I feel them like skinny, then I go, um, I go slow in the, in the training. And I feel them a little bit more, not too much, but I feel them a little bit more. And that's it, it's about um, grabbing it. Finding that balance, right? Yes. To me, that's the main, the main thing that you gotta do. In terms of feed, do you use uh, Varsalaga? Varsalaga. Um, Black Champion. Okay, Black for the young birds? Yes. Excuse me? For the young birds? For everyone. I feed, them, I feed my pigeon with the same feed for uh, the flyer, for the breeders, for the uh, young birds, for every every single pigeon that are here, they eat the same thing. Same okay. thing. And they it works for you. Different. Excuse me? It works for you. Seems like it. It does. <laughs> Seems like it. Yeah, <laughs> there in, in, in the loft, you gotta see the dropping. Yeah. The droppings means... It, it tells you the story. Yeah. yeah. They tell you everything. You see a couple of uh, droppings, they're loose or watery, you know, or, or, thing, or green, or and then it's when you start worrying about it. And then, because you, you can um, stretch your pigeons by training too much. That's true. And one of the things that I learned from uh, Archer Likens, I read his books, I see the movie of him. A good pigeon, you don't have to train it too much. That's that. The, the it's already... Board, it's already here. Yeah. The good part of the getting good pigeons or smart pigeons, healthy pigeons, because good pigeons comes with everything. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. When 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 I say they come with everything, with the health, it's really hard for them to get sick. A good pigeon. It's in their genetics. It's already a good, solid genetic wise yes. bird. That's that's the main thing. The healthy. Did yeah. you medicate? Not too much. Not too much. I. Um, I medicate my pigeons when they're getting ready for um, breeding. Yeah. And that's it. Even when they got sick, the young birds, when they got sick of uh, a adeno, I don't give them nothing. I let them do the, the, the sickness, their job. They gotta get Go over naturally. the immune system. Yes. Yeah. They gotta they gotta get over. Sooner or later. They gotta they wanna get over to the sickness and then when after that, you believe me. No, it's nothing to, to stop those pigeons. My ganners is my ganners? Yeah. This is a double uh, Wolverine also. Um, this. Nice swing. Yeah. You know, you... yeah, this is the second year I'm breeding her. The first year I, I bred her, uh, she was too young. Yeah. She was too young and uh, but right now she's with the Satanas, with the with the money winner at the Cuevas, equal first. Right now she's uh, she's with him, and see what happens uh, this year. Hopefully, get winners for. Yeah, for let's hope so too. Yeah, this is small, but it's inbred to Wolverine. Reconnection also. This is a um, full sister to his conquer cock. He called him conquer cock. Because I think the cat get got sick of uh, canker on uh, one of the log, uh, the races, and uh, he got it back. Now that cat is producing a lot for him, and mm -hmm. she's a full sister of, uh, of him. Nice, she's good looking. Yeah. Very nice. This bird's already produced. Uh, uh, they don't produce nothing for me like as a as a breeder, but the the, the sons of her and the and the the, other oh, the, cat the grandchildren. Mother. Yeah. They so they skip the generation. Them. Yes. There you go. Sometimes. And that's the reason why when you bought a pigeon, or myself, what I did is um, breed couple of them and whatever else I, I breed for them, I fly. If they don't produce, I breed the uh, the young babies that I have from them. If they don't produce either, then they gotta go. They gotta go. Yeah, this is the father of um, the two winners, the two equal first winner of uh, the semifinals in Kusha. Two years in the row. Nice. Poor Green.
Yeah, you got a good number of Wolverines. Yeah. yeah they're, you know, they're winning. And this year I'm breeding from uh, three different pigeons from a uh, um, raven. Yeah. Raven, uh, I think it's Raven is uh, uh, one of uh, the main breeders of uh, my Ganas. That pitching win a lot of a lot of races already, so we're hoping for the best. Like she's the mother of Satanas right here. Okay. She's the mother. Um, she's a full brother of the uh, Royal Cup winner in 2020, winning fifty thousand dollars for Aztec. What do you recommend? You know, tips, advice for newcomers coming into the sport. Um, and the second question is, what advice do you give for not so new, but for people that aren't winning races, but we want to, you know, step improve, up. step up, you know, what, what do you, what do you recommend? The newcomers, they need to, to go with whoever is winning the races and ask them. A lot of people doesn't like to say too much, but there's no strict secrets on, on pigeon races. Is pitching, feeding, and training. That's that's about it. To, it to sounds me. simple. <laughs> it's, it's no, it is simple. When you have the pitchings and when somebody teach you or tell you what to do with them, like how to train them, don't don't overfeed them. If you train it right, you feed them right. You should be okay. But you need the pitchings. You got the, you gotta have the pitchings. You yeah. need the pitchings. That's the main the main thing. You, you gotta have good pitchings. Good pitchings doesn't cost. Uh, they're not cheap. They're expensive, but you can get it for um, I don't know. Some people spending four, five hundred dollars is, is for them is a lot. To me, it is too. But uh, all the work is involved with them. It's not pay, yeah. But in, so in that regards, right? So you have, you know, obviously a son of Porsche 911 is top dollar. But what about a grandson? Is a grandson as good? Uh, as good as the, 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 the direct son. And sometimes better. So back back to the questions. Yes. So from what I gather from you is the quality of the bird, either for new guys or guys that have been in the sport and just want to step up their game. I want to give that question back to you. What do you prefer? Uh, mediocre pigeons or uh, good pigeons? Of course, good pigeons. I mean, that's after the battle. All the way from the beginning, right? Yeah. I think is is the best is the right way to go. Yeah, you want to spend a little bit more money. Yeah, but in the long run, uh, less training, less hitting, uh, better health, better better health, better better races results. Very good. That's 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 what you're looking for, right? To race good, race well. For to order to do that, you need a good pitch. Need good pigeons. A really good pitch. So I will I will say. Um. One last question: um, If if there are you know people out here in the combine and you know it's one of the biggest combines in the country and people even nearby, uh, you know, would you have you know do you sell any birds if, if other people want to you know try out your 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 birds? That's a really good question. When I first bought these pigeons, I sell to a friend of mine in Texas. He already went two times for Eco First and Texas up for cash and Cuevas this year. Nice. He did it better than me. Hey, but it came from your from your birds. Yes, yes. Two years in the row, that guy did it. Uh, it's another guy. Uh, he lives in Chicago. But every single pigeon that he bought from me, he um, he said, I sent it to Mexico. So he got him in Mexico. He raised his plans is race in Mexico, and I sent birds to one lot races in Mexico, not here. So it, this is uh, the first year, the, the second year, first year that he's getting pigeon from me. He got like 10 pair already for me, and um, let's hope him for the best. My uncle, Morion Love, he just bought a couple of uh, uh, pairs for me last year, and he won the, the, the race in 250 miles. He won the first place. He won it for, with my pigeons. Nice. So that's, that satisfaction right there is, you cannot buy him. You of know course. what I mean? For him and for myself, because he came from, they, those pigeons came from my love. So that means that the pigeons produced for somebody else too, and I'm really happy. This is the uh, the 13th place of uh, out of 3,500. 3,500, uh, 35,000. 
pigeons. And three times, two times echo first. Three times. Wow. And I Which fight is that one, man? This is a grandson of Tarzan. Oh. And Bolivrona, I sent a, a, a son of him up to, um, to Tony Cuevas, and that was the best race that I have from, from him this year. Nice. Tony Cuevas. Yeah. Good bird. It's this one right here. And this Good is luck. Um, Kelly Rosiers. Okay. First year I bring her, produced me two money winners. Direct from uh, Jelly Rosier. Very nice. This, and and the cock is direct from uh, Hardy Kruger. This game, two money winners, this one over here. Which one is that one, man? Jelly Rosier's. She just, you can you can tell that she already, uh, she just laid the egg right here. She's open her pick. Yeah, they go through She's that. From, yeah. uh, direct from uh, Jelly Rosier's right here. And let me tell you something, I think she's going to be one of my best breeders over here. She's, an, uh, she's the other daughter of uh, Red Eagle right here. She is, uh, she's a little bit smaller than the other one. She, lo she looks like it, right? Because they're but sisters. They're the same. Yeah. yeah, half a sister. Half a sister, yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, direct daughter of uh, Red Eagle with a um, direct son of uh, Kiro. So it's 100% Kiro right here. Yeah. Ah, the wood pellets. Yes. They're hungry, look them. How many pounds you put in there? How many bags? Nice. About four of them. Future champions of the CJC right here. And yeah, they look good. Look at that, they want, they want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> they want to eat, yeah. Nice box perches. Very nice. Well, enjoy your uh, new loft there, guys. What I do is I flew three years, the old birds. And uh, the pictures that I got left, if they didn't do nothing on, on young birds and old birds, they gotta go. That um, a good bird is a good bird in a combine as it is in OLR, or some birds are better for OLR than others. Some birds are better for uh, for. Um, listen, sometimes you f you fly your um, your birds on uh, one low races, and then you try to fly them over here, and sometimes they do good, sometimes they, they don't. They do better in a one low race. Why? It's a different race, it's yeah. just a... a different handle. Okay, Manny, well, you know, thank you for having me. Not it's a, it's a, a pleasure to, to see your birds, to learn from you. Um, it, like I said, it, it's, it can't be easy winning uh, in, at the CJC, let alone multiple combines. And so, um, you know, thank you for your time. And uh, any last uh, words from you? No, it's a pleasure to have you over here. And uh, anytime you wanted to come and, uh, and do another video or, or just come and, and see me and see the pigeons, you're more than welcome. Awesome. Anybody. And I really wish for everybody who has a, a really good year in breeding and uh, raising pigeons. All right, very good. Thank you, and thank you, Steve. No problem. And this is your gift? Yeah, thank you, Manny. Not a problem. Okay. I hope, I hope you got you got a really good baby after him. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, keep you posted. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you.